so from here, again, that same feeling, you're driving that, that leg and you're rotating your hip. It's not about your upper body, it's just about that lower body. And then from here, I want you to kind of squeeze your inner thigh muscle. Squeeze your inner thigh muscle to get to this double hickey tape. Not pull your hands down. Not relax. This part of your body is relaxing, but this part of your body is tensing in order to come back to neutral. So this, this completely stretching and tensing here to come back to neutral again. And you get that kind of rapid feeling of, of this moving, yeah? And then you can only get that rapid movement through relaxation. If it's about your upper body, you're tense and you're not gonna ever kind of reach that kind of speed. Everyone thinks that the body is like a, like a, a you know, a bridge, uh, like made from stones and you have building blocks and that's your skeleton. But actually, our, our body's not like that at all. It's like a suspension bridge, like the Golden Gate Bridge, Sydney Harbour, Harbour Bridge. Yeah, it's a suspension bridge, and it's pieces of steel that don't touch each other, but that's suspended by very strong steel girders. And that's, that's what the body's like, because as soon as bone starts touching bone, you get arthritis. That never happens within your body, or should never happen within your body. So our bones are suspended within a mass of ligaments, muscles, and fascia. And actually, they're all the same thing. They all become one, becomes the other, becomes the other. So it's, it's a suspended mass. And it's through those kind of like tensions and, and relaxations that we produce movement. Tensions and relaxations. Like you found your shape of what you want. How can you do that with, by stripping away effort? Like they, they do a lot of this in yoga, yeah? You, you kind of find your shape and then you strip away effort and you, and you focus on another part of your body to produce stretching to produce kind of an expansion of, of, of another element of your body that you're trying to stretch, yeah? It happens in yoga all the time. And we, should, and we do that in karate, yeah? Where we are just simply using something else to produce that technique. If, if you synchronize hip and shoulder, then your punch, your body weight will go back as you punch. Don't. Syn don't synchronize. Don't synchronize and then release for Kizama Suki. It's such a subtle thing, yeah? I, I, it's really difficult, it's really subtle. So I understand if you're not getting it straight away, best thing to do is take your time, get it right. It's about timing, it's about kind of having that stretch in your body. And once you get that stretch, you can start increasing the speed, like I said, and you can start using that stretch shortened cycle to produce explosive power.